Josh. Okay, so first of all, I cannot express how great it was to actually see and hear you again, even in video form. Um, because yeah, we've messed each other on and off throughout the summer and everything, but it's just really not the same, you know? It's been two months since I've seen you, and that's a long time compared to, you know, the daily basis that we saw each other throughout the school year, so I'm living up this already. Second of all, um, I'm at my grandmother's house right now, so um, yes, this is the room I am currently staying in which is pretty pretty bare, but that's okay. Um, it's not long term, so it's okay. Um, and thirdly, um, I already had a follow-up video to kind of um, to go off of what you already said in your last video, but um, even though I already recorded that, um, something happened last night at work and it kind of hit me hard. And so I decided um, that I would kind of go off and talk about something completely different. So I'm going to address a couple things from your other video at another time because there's a couple things I want to add, but I'm just going to talk about this first. So um, last night, um, I was assigned to work on a new machine where I met Dave. And um, at one point during the shift, um, Dave mentioned something about um, having only seven and a half months left to work. And I congratulated him on that and then asked him um, how long he'd been working there at Moore. And he said, 38 years and Josh I'm 18 he's been working at Moore more than twice the amount of time I've been breathing and I just I couldn't believe it and it immediately got me to thinking like what do I want to do for 38 years of my life and it it came quite simple to me the, the answer just kind of came to me, and it was kind of a lack of an answer, actually. There isn't anything that I want to do for 38 years. And besides that, I'm too young to, to decide what I want to do for 38 years of my life, and I'm always going to be too young for that. There will never be a point in my life where I can figure out what I'm going to do for 38 years. I can legally vote now. I can drink alcohol in Quebec. I can drive and I can gamble. I'm an adult, officially. Or at least con society considers me to be an adult. But really, I'm not. Deep down, I'm just a kid. I wake up in the morning and I walk to the bathroom all wrapped up in my blanket because I feel safe. I sometimes crawl up the stairs or crawl down the stairs because it's easier. <laughs> um, I don't ever feel awake in the morning until I get a hug from my mom. And sometimes I like to sit on my mom's lap. And I do it just because I can and because I like it. My dad, my father, is daddy to me. And I cry. And not teenage tears all the time. Sometimes I cry like a five-year-old child. Because I'm a kid. And in two weeks, I'm leaving home. But see, that's the thing. I'm faced with this looming gloom of what I'm supposed to do for 38 years, and I can't figure it out. But then I started thinking about it a little bit more, and when I stepped back away from that towering 38 figure, I realized that you don't really have to figure out what you're going to do for that period of time. You don't plan it like that. 38 years only happens one day at a time, and you know what? It's okay to not have those years planned out. It's okay to call it the unknown. And you can't avoid the unknown because there's just too much of it. If there's anything that high school has taught me, it's that there's a lot of unknown and you're never ever going to escape it. And there's no need to fear what you can't avoid. <laughs> As McFly would say anyways, those are McFly lyrics. Um, because in the high school, you don't always know what your test is going to be on, and you don't always know what the answer is, and you don't always know what the heck your t teacher's talking about, and you don't know how your friends perceive you sometimes, and you don't know how other people feel about you, and you don't know what to do with yourself sometimes. There's so much not knowing, and high school has taught me that you just kind of have to face the unknown, and yeah, it's scary and terrifying and awful sometimes, but it's exciting too. Because, as cliche as it is, there's a whole world, a whole universe out there of things to do and experience and learn and explore. And so, this is my resolution. 
I'm going to stop worrying about the unknown and I'm just going to take it one day at a time and stop planning one day at a time. I'm going to live one day at a time instead of just worrying and trying to figure things out. That's going to be my new philosophy for university and I sincerely hope it works. Um, so Josh, I will see you on Saturday at my house. Um, talk to you later.